In engineering, deflection is the degree to which a structural element is displaced under a load. It may refer to an angle or a distance. The deflection distance of a member under a load is directly related to the slope of the deflected shape of the member under that load, and can be calculated by integrating the function that mathematically describes the slope of the member under that load. Deflection can be calculated by standard formula will only give the deflection of common beam configurations and load cases at discrete locations, or by methods such as virtual work, direct integration, Castigliano's method, Macaulay's method or the direct stiffness method, amongst others. The deflection of beam elements is usually calculated on the basis of the Euler-Bernoulli beam equation while that of a plate or shell element is calculated using plate or shell theory. An example of the use of deflection in this context is in building construction. Architects and engineers select materials for various applications. The beams used for framework are selected on the basis of deflection, amongst other factors. <laughs> Beam deflection for various loads and supports Beams can vary greatly in their geometry and composition. For instance, a beam may be straight or curved. It may be of constant cross-section, or it may taper. It may be made entirely of the same material homogeneous, or it may be composed of different materials composite. Some of these things make analysis difficult, but many engineering applications involve cases that are not so complicated. Analysis is simplified if the beam is originally straight, and any taper is slight. The beam experiences only linear elastic deformation. The beam is slender, its length to height ratio is greater than 10. Only small deflections are considered max deflection less than one-tenth the span. In this case, the equation governing the beam's deflection W can be approximated as D. 2 w x d x 2 equals m x e x i x display style cfrac mathrm d caret 2 w x mathrm d x caret 2 equals frac m x e x i x where the second derivative of its deflected shape with respect to x display style x is interpreted as its curvature e display style e is the young's modulus i display style i is the area moment of inertia of the cross section and m display style m is the internal bending moment in the beam if, in addition, the beam is not tapered and is homogeneous, and is acted upon by a distributed load Q style Q, the above expression can be written as E I D four W X D X four equals Q X Display style e i tilde c f r a c mathrm d caret four w x mathrm d x caret four equals q x. This equation can be solved for a variety of loading and boundary conditions. A number of simple examples are shown below. The formulas expressed are approximations developed for long, slender, homogeneous, prismatic beams with small deflections and linear elastic properties. Under these restrictions, the approximations should give results within 5% of the actual deflection. Topic: <coughs> Cantilever beams. Cantilever beams have one end fixed so that the slope and deflection at that end must be zero. Topic: <coughs> End loaded cantilever beams The elastic deflection delta display style delta and angle of deflection phi 
display style phi in radians at the free end in the example image a weightless cantilever beam with an end load can be calculated at the free end b using delta b equals f l 3 3 e i display style delta underscore b equals frac f l caret 3 3 e i phi b equals f l 2 2 e i display style phi underscore b equals frac f l caret 2 2 e i where f display style f equals force acting on the tip of the beam l display style l equals length of the beam span e display style e equals modulus of elasticity i display style i equals area moment of inertia of the beam's cross section note that if the span doubles the deflection increases eightfold the deflection at any point x display style x along the span of an end loaded cantilevered beam can be calculated using delta x equals f x 2 6 e i 3 l minus x display style delta underscore x equals frac fx caret 2 6 e i 3 l x phi x equals f x 2 e i 2 l minus x display style phi underscore x equals frac fx 2 e i 2 l x note x equals l display style x equals l the end of the beam the delta x display style delta underscore x and phi x display style phi underscore x equations are identical to the delta b display style delta underscore b and phi b display style phi underscore b equations above topic uniformly loaded cantilever beams the deflection at the free end b of a cantilevered beam under a uniform load is given by delta b equals q l 4 8 e i display style delta underscore b equals frac q l caret 4 8 e i phi b equals q l 3 6 e i Display style phi underscore b equals frac q l caret three six e i, where q display style q equals uniform load on the beam force per unit length l display style l equals length of the beam e display style e equals modulus of elasticity i display style i equals area moment of inertia of cross section the deflection at any point x display style x along the span of a uniformly loaded cantilevered beam can be calculated using delta x equals q x 2 24 e i 6 L two minus four L 
x plus x two display style delta underscore x equals frac q x carrot two two four e i six l carrot two minus four lux plus x carrot two phi x equals q x six e i three l two minus three l x plus x two Display style phi underscore x equals frac q x six e i three l carrot two minus three lux plus x carrot two. Topic: Simply supported beams. Simply supported beams have supports under their ends which allow rotation, but not deflection. Topic. Center loaded simple beams The elastic deflection at the midpoint C of a beam loaded at its center supported by two simple supports is given by delta C equals F L 3 48 E I Display style delta underscore c equals frac f l carrot three four eighty i, where f display style f equals force acting on the center of the beam. L display style l equals length of the beam between the supports. E display style e equals modulus of elasticity. I display style i equals area moment of inertia of cross section the deflection at any point x display style x along the span of a center loaded simply supported beam can be calculated using delta x equals f x 48 e i 3 l 2 Minus four x two display style delta underscore x equals frac f x four eighty i three l carrot two four x carrot two four zero x l two display style zero l e q x l e q frac l two Topic: Off-center loaded simple beams. The maximum elastic deflection on a beam supported by two simple supports loaded at a distance a display style from the closest support is given by delta m a x equals f a l Two minus a two three two nine three L E I Display style delta underscore max equals frac F A L carrot two a carrot two carrot three halves nine S Q R T three lay where F Display style F equals force acting on the beam l display style l equals length of the beam between the supports e display style e equals modulus of elasticity i display style i equals area moment of inertia of cross section a display style equals distance from the load to the closest support ie L two display style L E Q L two. This maximum deflection occurs at a distance x one display style x underscore one from the closest support and is given by 
x 1 equals l 2 minus a 2 3 Display style x underscore one equals sqrt frac l carrot two a carrot two three. Topic: Uniformly loaded simple beams. The elastic deflection at the midpoint C on a beam supported by two simple supports under a uniform load, as pictured, is given by delta C equals. 5 q l 4 384 e i display style delta underscore c equals frac 5 q l caret 4 384 e i where q display style q equals uniform load on the beam force per unit length l display style l equals length of the beam e display style e equals modulus of elasticity i display style i equals area moment of inertia of cross section the deflection at any point x display style x along the span of a uniformly loaded simply supported beam can be calculated using delta x equals Q x twenty four E I L three minus two L x two plus x three Display style delta underscore x equals frac q x two four e i l carrot three minus two lux carrot two plus x carrot three. Topic: Change in length. The change in length delta l display style delta l of the beam is generally negligible in structures but can be calculated by integrating the slope theta x display style theta underscore x function if the deflection function delta x display style delta underscore x is known for all x display style x where delta L display style delta L equals change in length always negative theta x display style theta underscore x equals slope function first derivative of delta x display style delta underscore x delta L equals minus one Two zero L theta x two D x display style delta L equals frac one two int underscore zero carrot L theta x carrot two D x. If the beam is uniform and the deflection at any point is known, this can be calculated without knowing other properties of the beam. topic units the formulas supplied above require the use of a consistent set of units most calculations will be made in the international system of units si or us customary units although there are many other systems of units topic international system si Force Newton N Display style N Length meters M Display style M Modulus of elasticity N M two P A Display style frac N M carrot two par 
moment of inertia m 4 display style m caret 4 topic us customary units us force pounds force l b f display style pound underscore f length inches i n display style in modulus of elasticity l b f i n 2 display style frac pound underscore f in caret 2 moment of inertia i n 4 display style in caret 4 topic others other units may be used as well as long as they are self consistent for example, sometimes the kilogram force K G F display style kilogram underscore F unit is used to measure loads. In such a case, the modulus of elasticity must be converted to K G F M two display style frac kilogram underscore F M caret two. topic structural deflection building codes determine the maximum deflection usually as a fraction of the span eg 1/400th or 1/600th either the strength limit state allowable stress or the serviceability limit state deflection considerations among others may govern the minimum dimensions of the member required the deflection must be considered for the purpose of the structure when designing a steel frame to hold a glazed panel, one allows only minimal deflection to prevent fracture of the glass. The deflected shape of a beam can be represented by the moment diagram, integrated twice, rotated and translated to enforce support conditions. See also Slope deflection method